Hey everyone, Pinchal here, and we got a new product from Z Moon. Uh, this time I was looking for something to upgrade my VW bus uh, lighting because, well, it's lighting from the 70s and it's not very bright. So we're going to modernize, uh, modernize uh, our Volkswagen bus, my 71 Volkswagen bus, with some new headlights. Now, these are not meant for a Volkswagen bus. Uh, but they are seven inch uh, round LED headlights. Now we're gonna see if these work, um, but we're gonna do a quick unboxing to show off you know the quality of uh, Z Moon headlights. I think personally they're really good products. I just got uh, some light bars from them and I'm really really enjoying them right now as they are. So let's check out this and so let's do a quick unboxing. Um, now, first off, they give you pretty much uh, what everything is for, if depending on the type of harness you're going to be using, uh, and if you're going to be using left and right turn signals. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to modify the factory turn signals. It also has a, um, what's it called, a uh, halo ring, which I don't really care for. We're not going to wire that in. Um, all I really care for is actually just the main headlight itself. Uh, everything else is not useful to me, especially in my Volkswagen bu uh, bus. But if you guys are using like a Jeep or something like that, these will be great for you. Um, so they come with the adapter and everything you need to make it work. So first off, they're actually not bad looking. I wish you can find headlights like this with just maybe just a low beam built into it. That would be super, super cool. But for what it is right now, I mean, this is what you can find online. Not a lot of choices. Um, this is kind of typical for this style 7 inch round headlight. Um, maybe down the road I can find something different, but for right now this is what I got. Uh, these are 7 inch round uh, using the standard uh, harness here. I believe these are called H3s. I'm not 100% sure. Um, or H4. I got. A, I believe it's an H4, but uh, again I'm, I, I forgot which the actual uh, harness style this is. Uh, but they're sealed. They have a um, cooling fins in the back and they're very very straightforward like any other basic seven inch round headlight that's like super old school the cool thing on the Volkswagen bus these headlights are clamped in place they're not screwed in uh, so they clamp in and then uh, pretty much once they're clamped in you bolt them inside your bus so there's no specific side to these there's no left there's no right they're identical there's really nothing special to these at all so um, without further ado, let's actually um, go take apart my bus and we'll try them out. So here's our 1971 VW bus using factory seven round style glass headlights and so we're going to do pretty much a light comparison. So stock lighting without anything special just a standard 12 volt bulb and we're going to turn on the headlights. As you can see not very bright, <laughs> actually that one over there on the left is brighter than the one on the right. Um, but not by substantial. It's not a big difference. I think there are two different bulbs, uh, to be honest with you. But that is the difference right now between, uh, I mean, this is what you look, this is a stock setup. So we're going to change them up and we're going to see the difference. So to remove your front headlight, grab a Phillips, just like this, and screw this bad boy right here. Take that out. Just 
should pop out. There you go. And then you have um, a clamp here. So this clamp uh, pretty much is held by one, two, I think two screws. Yep. Here's one. I get a better fill up. So, um, two out of the three screws came out. Third one is really, really badly uh, um, old. But we're going to pull this out really quick. So, there's a really, again, this here's your three prong right there. Uh, hopefully, it's not painted like mine, but <laughs> mine's painted. Uh, you'll see here, just like that, nothing crazy special about it. Uh, so, here's the bowl uh, headlight. I'm going to go grab the new one. Now, it does say dot SAE facing up. So more than likely this will be the where it should be pointed at versus this way. Um, we'll try them both ways just to see uh, if it does make a difference. So we're going to have it pointing down and see how much uh, brightness we're going to get. But first off, let's plug this in like so and then turn this again make sure it's facing down and then they have a, an alignment marker here so you can make sure everything lines up the way it's supposed to just like that Get one of your screws, make sure it's not as stripped as mine. Same with this one here. There you have it. I'm not going to put the metal housing on yet, but we're going to do a quick uh, light comparison and see, uh, see the difference. All right, so now we got the headlight installed. And I didn't, I didn't know, but apparently these three actually turn on, not just the one. So it's one, two, three bulbs that turn on in comparison just, just to one. And then your high beam down below um, kicks on too as well. But I don't have a, my high beam switch doesn't work, so I can't really do much of a comparison for that. Uh, but right now off the bat, it is a night and day difference in brightness um, in comparison to what I had before. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. So we're going to replace the other one and put it all back together and see how it looks. So now we have uh, both LED headlights installed. And I'm impressed actually for how bright they are on such an old car. Um, we actually have white light. It's not bad at all. Um, so definitely something that I would highly recommend. For the price, it is definitely worth the upgrade. Now, I would personally would do some research and probably find a different style headlight uh, just to keep the look of the car more appealing. But if you're just looking for a great headlight upgrade for your old 70 or your old Volkswagen bus uh, yeah Z Moon does the trick uh, definitely does a really really good job in upgrading factory halogen um, bulb to the new age with a with an LED lighting system and the car has not changed its uh, resistance based uh, lighting so the turn signal isn't flickering like crazy uh, usually whenever you change your bulbs in an uh, old car like this and you get like a, a bulb that has a weird resistance it will change the speed of your um, of your turn signals or something won't turn on so I'm pretty happy with this upgrade on the car uh, again it doesn't it's not aesthetically as pleasing but for right now it is definitely an upgrade in lighting um, 
I'm gonna do some research and probably find a different style bulb because now I'm pretty pretty sure that I can probably find something with a single bulb in it and get a huge upgrade in lighting and maybe aesthetics as well. But thank you for turning in to, tuning in this episode of Pinchy House Garage. Uh, and enjoying Pappy the Bus, because uh, Pappy the Bus is dope. I love him. My favorite daily right now. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with the upgrade that we did for lighting. Uh, have yourself a wonderful day. And if you guys are looking for these headlights for your, uh, for your old VW bus or for your motorcycle, uh, click the link down below to the Amazon store for this product, because it's good stuff. I'm not going to complain, honestly. It's good stuff. Peace out, everyone, and have a wonderful day. So you guys can see... LED headlights comparison to stock uh, H4 headlights. Before I couldn't even see maybe 10 feet in front of me. And now I got a good 20, 30 feet with no issues. And I can see everything in front of me. And everything's pointed down nicely so I don't blind anybody on the road. I love these headlights. Oh man, such a great investment in for my Volkswagen bus.